Okay, all right, it's a chat portion of the webinar. Rings. Okay, we're just going right into it. Uh, Gundam, oh, let me check one thing. Seems to be all right. The other one took like 30 minutes to uh, upload. It's still processing. Uh, Gundam, any uh, messages from the Golden Feline's Zeta? And Bell. It's one that works for your crown chakra a lot. Uh, it shows that there's other versions of yourself and other realities that you're keeping an eye on. It's kind of like you're keeping like a a golden energy around them. Uh, uh, some of them are in charge of galactic uh, fleets, alien fleets. Any messages from higher self? Uh, yeah, there's a kind of like a heavy energy around you just due to reality. Uh, and slowly that will start to dissipate, slow down over time, and you'll feel more lighter as, uh, I guess, in the coming months. Maybe not completely, but you'll feel the change uh, over time. Uh, Pamela, are there any messages for me? Uh, just a new, just a new protective energy is around you, and also confidence, like spiritual confidence, is coming through. I do see Metatron's energy connecting to more. Uh, panel, uh, second question: Are there messages from my husband Don? Uh, it seems like he's around you at night, helps you sleep. He has come into your astral to help you just cope with the world's uh, situations also to help you connect with other family members that need you most i don't know why he's showing a silver dollar i don't know if that matters um that's something for good luck at least you might not have mentioned it publicly uh carol any messages for me uh manifestation energies are getting stronger but also just feeling better about your own connections overall just your own self-being not that it's been that bad before, but I feel like you're just getting more of a stronger energy within yourself. Are there any messages from Crown Creator? Uh, just cutting, it feels like cutting old ties, at least old connections so you feel younger, meaning like old stuff within yourself. Old just belief systems are slowly clearing out, not just yet, but it just feels like it's in the works to some form. Uh, Anna, what is the message from my, the butterfly that flew inside my kitchen? Well, yeah, that you have new life coming in. It's just a protective energy, but also that you are, of course, going in the right direction, but also just your manifestation energies are getting struck. Yeah, definitely. But also your self-love is increasing. So it's like you are the butterfly. My mom had a dream that Merlin... Had aura coming off of his fur. What is the message behind this? It feels like shedding some. I feel like he's clearing out energies of other people. Some of that might be himself. I uh, would see like is this a lot of other people is clearing out. Uh, Shar, any messages from my feline connective? Uh, just once again manifesting frequencies. I also see a very strong connection to Orion, where you just it's helping you. You know, a lot of your maturity came from there, but you're still kind of dealing with Orion. I don't know if you're ever going to clear out Orion because um, this is going to be a long lineage of connections that doesn't quite let go just yet. It's something that you're still working within yourself. I mean, Orion is very connected to the Earth, so you know, this is something that you're working on internally. Not saying what, though. Like inner conflict. Any messages from my heart self? Uh, just yeah, feeling better about your own energies, but connecting to the archangel frequencies, uh, stronger energy with that, but also just yeah, manifestation energy keeps coming in. Uh, I do see you connected to the ninth dimension, and just more might be music, might be songs that you're connected to to feel more connected to yourself. Uh, Marianne, any messages for me? Uh, let's see. 
I did see like a crystal spirit guide. Um, see, she's not giving me her name. I mean, I get the name Agatha. That's up to you if you want to use that name or not. Just a crystal being that's giving you more appreciation for what you're doing. Just clearing out your energy field. There seems to be, yeah, just a lot of focus on self, which is good, but also there's other you know, other connections you can make. Uh, any messages from source? Um, so from source, you just, yeah, cutting all the time ones. And I do see new people you're tapping into over time um, that you will feel like you're a bit more elevated and more like around your own people. It's not always the case at this time. There is a feline fr frequency around you that's, you know, kind of, I don't want to say blocking you, but you know, you're not sure of what you're uh, tapping into. You do definitely have a lot of feline connections. Oh my God, it's Moses. Any advice for the near future from anyone around me? Just self confidence. Uh, that's, and willing to take risks. Uh, the spirit is still seeing me buy a house soon, uh, the house that you want. Uh, there's no real timeline for it. It's That's a human situation there. Uh, it's whatever you feel like you need to. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's better just to give it more time. I mean, soon, but, I mean, it's it's on its way, but it has not fully locked in just yet, but well, in our uh, uh, any messages about the marketing company that was presented presented to me today? Seems to be fine. Uh, seems like it's trustworthy, also very creative. Uh, any messages from Admiral Crab? Funny. Um, self love frequencies. Uh, this crab being, or yeah, just just a joy to be around. Um, you just seems to be someone that helps you find yourself. You just help you align with yourself when you get disconnected. Now, so any messages from Andromeda? Uh, let's see. More manifestation, manifestation energies. I do see, uh, I don't know if you're doing any investments or anything like that. It seems like that's going to come in uh, more clearly in a positive way. It hasn't really showed itself just yet. I'm not sure if you're doing anything like that, but it seems like it's something that you're capable of doing. Any messages from DARPA, AI, High Mind Collective? Connected to a uh, lot. Uh, yeah, but I feel like you're shutting down that frequency level uh, in the astral, and they have to attack you a lot. They're trying to put you into their collective but you're not allowing it so well they're just trying to lower your frequency on different levels so basically once you own your mind so not that they will but they're trying to <laughs> so yeah you're yeah yeah you got nothing to fear but yeah you can't do energy field to shut it down amy uh am i going to be able to start doing energy healing again sometime within six months i really want to start uh, yeah, anytime or sooner, three months, three to four months. Um, it's good to keep keep your f frequency uh, where you feel it's comfortable, though. What am I meant to do besides energy healing? Connect with yourself. Um, uh, possibly books if you want to write something or some other adventure. Uh, of course, books are you know fun to sell. Um, but something internal that you need to do, but not showing what it is. Yeah, something you got. What, where's your heart desire? Uh, Mia, do I have any past lives with my coworker Katie? Can you tell me anything about that life and what time period we were? Well, it's like a daughter. Uh, feels like Roman times. I feel Roman and Middle Ages. So she's been daughter to you a couple of times. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it with that. Are there any uh, messages of France? Somewhere around France. 
Question two, any, any other, are there any messages from my fairy family? Uh, well, they show like a magic wand. Um, it's like you kind of, they show like you lost the wand uh, and you were supposed to protect it, like an adventure. And like you're still looking for it in other dimensions. So it's like a journey you're still working on. That's not made it so queer just yet. I know it's a little bit strange, but um, <clears throat> it has a lot to do about yourself, self reflection. It's like kind of like you're finding yourself within that realm. So, here, what, how it affects you here is just yeah, self manifesting. Manifesting is going to keep coming. It seems like this energy is just, yeah, it just it's all over the place, which is good. Uh, Donna, any messages from my. Dog Ringo that passed last week. I was adjusting. Oh, yeah, just fine. It was just so happy laughing. Of course, she didn't want to leave, but due to her body just kind of disintegrating, it was, uh, yeah, for the best. But she's busy right now. Any messages from my father in law, Dick? I was hit by a car while crossing the street. Past three weeks later, all the guys are doing their annual fishing gig trip the, six, the 16th. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, of course, soul healing he's going through at this time. Um, he's not, you know, not blaming anybody, especially himself. Yeah, he's not blaming anyone. So he just, he's at peace. I mean, he didn't like the way he went, but it was difficult for him to leave this world anyway. So. He said it was a soul contract, he's saying. <laughs> As for the guys, yeah, his spirits, he's going to catch the biggest fish, of course. <laughs> so. uh, you, uh, any messages from my higher self? Um, just self-love energies. I do see you, like, if you have a, a goal that you want to achieve, I mean, of course, you're going through. A... Okay, yeah, Goals. There's many goals you need to figure out to figure yourself out on multiple levels. So just that you're here to unlock yourself on a higher level. So it's entirely up to you. What leap of faith I need to take to unstuck myself? Like I say, it goes back to the question one is goal related. You just, you might not find it. Will goals. Well, goals will go to big goals. Big goals can be just life-changing goals. Okay, from that point, is that be too big? Yeah, just I mean, you're going through like a dark side of the soul right now, which is necessary. I would just take it easy and do stuff for yourself. You know, self-love on multiple levels. Uh, Susie, what I've been doing, astral. Manifesting a timeline where you're. You feel like you're more productive and you're helping others and you're still going through the timelines because nothing really is fitting in right just yet, but doesn't mean it won't over time. Just a lot of, uh, yeah, just a lot of distractions at this time. Well, then this reality, just it's hard for anyone to really see you here in the physical for you to align with their frequency because they're so you know out there. Any messages for me? Uh, patience, the job will come. Uh, it's just that sometimes you're hesitant to go for certain things. So it uh, seems like you're doing a lot of, um, you will manifest. Sometimes you reject manifestation, it seems. Yeah, yeah it's your uh, question, too. I forgot about it. Uh, Wanda, so I was in World War II in Germany. I want to know if I was a German or another nationality. It was positive side or negative side? How I died? I'm reincarnating very soon. Uh, it feels like a female. I don't think you're a German, though. I mean, I feel like you're on the good side. Um, I don't know. See. I feel like you're a candidate to medical. Not like a nurse, but you're assisting 
maybe like a red cross or something like that maybe from the united states and i'm making this all clear but it feels like you're helping others but you weren't helping medical people but you weren't part of the medical uh you weren't you weren't a doctor or anything like that but you still helped it uh, positive side yeah just like a volunteer um because everything was volunteering at, at that time <laughs> So yeah, something along those lines. It feels like you're from the United States, and then you went back uh, to the United States afterwards. But I feel like you were there for the whole the four years at least. I think you just yeah you didn't get attacked or anything, but just wasn't working out. Yeah, you're kind of like an unofficial nurse, but I think you did other things too. You did uh like deliveries and things like that. But you were a female, it feels like. Uh, work for Americans, it seems like you're like, yeah, it feels like Red Cross type of type of stuff. Vasco, any wisdom for my guys or higher self to methane? Methane, okay. Um, oh, Fritzy's here uh wisdom so yeah just don't just concentrate on yourself not so much to the rest of the world i don't think you're concentrating but uh just yeah just going through a lot of your own turmoil internal you know stuff as you know um i did feel martian frequencies you're tapping into but overall it's it feels like you're getting more, at least I can tell you're getting more subtle, like calmer, which is good. And calmer frequencies bringing things. Uh, I think you're going to bring things in that you need uh, in a good way, just very subtly, just very calmly. You probably can feel that. Um, girlfriend wanted to know what's going on with her job. She let go as she got she got let go as a contractor she wanted to know why she got let go bad stabbing um yeah yeah i guess she rubbed one of the ladies the wrong way or some other female there yeah some other like a boss maybe it was a male but she was like a female got mad at, mad at her and a, a male boss cut her off so yeah there's just a lot of, you know, she just wasn't conforming with anything. And there is kind of like a conspiracy or some kind of uh, thing going on there. So, yeah. So she's right. Um, just, I feel like she's better, bigger and better things. I do see the church. I don't know if she's going to work with the church or anything. That's entirely up to her. Um, but it's like she'll, I don't know if that's her. Yeah. She'll get support there. That'll give her something. Put her mind on something else. So, all right. Okay. All right. I want to thank you for posting questions. We'll be back uh, tomorrow, which was.